All right, time for some money math. Now, we had something very similar to this back when we were doing the uh, homework packets, um, but it didn't have the dollar bill, so it would be more kind of like that, okay? <clears throat> so, we're basically, we're doing the same thing, but we have to do the dollars, the, the paper money, and the coins separately. So, I'm going to do this first one here. I'm just going to put a line here just to remind me that when I do my counting, these are going to be different from these. So I've got back here, you can see that's a $5 bill and a $1 bill. So $5 plus $1 is how much? $6. So I'm going to do six. And the, the new part of this is I'm going to use my decimal point. Okay, my decimal point, that's that dividing line between dollars and cents, just like I did this line here. So my decimal point, it looks like a period. And then I have no cents right here. Mrs. Birgi says I, I don't have any cents at all. So I'm going to put a zero, zero. So this is $6 even. Okay, no change yet. So I'm going to stop there and I'm going to go to my coins. Now, I always tell kids to label the coins first. Don't try and do this in your head. So this is a quarter. Quarter is worth 25 cents. Another quarter, 25 cents. Uh, these two little guys, those are dimes. Dimes are worth 10 cents. So 10 cents, 10 cents. I've got a nickel. A nickel is five cents and one penny. Penny is worth one cent. Okay. So <clears throat> going back to my quarters, 25 and 25. Ooh, I know that one. That's 50. Put 50 down here. Okay. A 10 and a 10. That's 20. I always cross these out so I don't count them twice. And I've got a nickel and a penny. I can put those together. So five plus one is six. Okay. So 50 cents, 20 cents, and six cents. So 50 and 20. So 50. So I'm using my fingers counting my tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So there's my 50. 60, 70. So this is 70 cents. And six cents more. So this whole change here is 76 cents. Now, I'm going to go back to my dollars. <clears throat> I've got six dollars. And I also have 76 cents. So you see I've got ones column, tens column. Ha-ha, look right there. Ones column, tens column. So I'm going to simply replace these two zeros with this. So I've got six dollars. It's already got my dollar sign there. And then I need my decimal point and then 76. And this, <clears throat> this gets a little confusing. I don't need my cent sign, okay? Because I've already got my dollar sign there. And when I put the decimal point, that is telling me that this amount of money right here is cents, it's not dollars. So sometimes people will see this. If you don't do your decimal point, watch this. If you don't do your decimal point, put my dollar sign right there. This says $676, just because I didn't put my decimal point in there. This says $6.76, okay? So don't forget that decimal point as your dividing line between your dollars and your cents. All right, good luck.